A hot, dry wind is blowing today in the Napa County town of Angwin. So PG&E shut the power off here to try and prevent a wildfire from starting. But most people here are now prepared for this. We are without power. It went out um, this morning. I'm not sure what time I was asleep. And um, we have a generator. I don't have it on, but we have it available. It wasn't always this way, but the threat of fires, evacuations, and power outages keeps happening. Things are changing. Things are, are changing and we need to be prepared. Kelly Morris is in charge of making sure the lights stay on in the businesses on Howell Mountain Road. He has generators like this one powering the gas station, the hardware store, the market, the college. He says residents who don't have them all seem to want them. In our Ace Hardware store, uh, we try to keep generators, you know, there, but they sell out very fast. Uh, we'll probably be getting more this week um, because every time we get them in, you know, people, people buy them. But generators were not meant to power distance learning. That's why this mom has her three kids in the car. She has a generator at home, but says it's only strong enough for basic appliances. I came here to the parking lot hoping to go to the laundromat and get some internet service. They're closed today, but I know the college has Wi-Fi service, so we're signing on as a guest getting them going on their Chromebooks in the car. She lost power at 9 o'clock this morning, right when school starts. <laughs> you're, you're doing the best you can. I don't know what else to do. I just keep praying. Let the schools open up. Let the schools open up, please. I never wanted to be a teacher.